Welcome back to Luke part one. This is the fourth video of lesson number three. We're looking at chapter five right now, first 11 verses. And what we see going on here is that Jesus is uh, on the shore of the Lake of Galilee, the Sea of Galilee. It's called the Gennesaret Lake, Lake of Gennesaret. It's actually another name that it goes by in the Old Testament that I can't remember, something like Chinnereth. I never could quite say it. But he's teaching. And the people were following, they were listening. Well, there's such a crowd coming in, they're pressing on to him. And so he gets into Simon's boat and pushes off from shore a little bit and starts uh, teaching the people. After he teaches, he looks at Simon and tells him to go fish. And, you know, Simon wasn't too excited about this, and you see from his re reaction. But he says, I'll do it, not based on feeling or believing. And Simon doesn't say it that way to him. He does say, you know, Lord, we've been fishing all night long. We didn't catch anything. Now you're saying to do this. Best time to fish is at night. We got our deep water nets. Now it's the daytime. We don't have the shallow water nets. But, you know, because you said it, I will do it. And that's what's important. He says, I will do it because you said it. Now, why did he have the faith, the modicum of faith that he had to do that? I believe it's because he was listening to the teaching of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. He was listening to Jesus. And that's the reason it's so important for us to have proper teaching. That's the reason it's so important for us to understand what the word says, not what man says, not what denominational distinctives are and what the denominations say, but what does the word say? And out of that increases our faith. He said, I'll do it. Well, you know the story. You know what happened. They fished, and they got so much fish that it started sinking their boats. They called to their uh, fellow boat and said, come over here. Find out they had partners, etc. Well, Simon, when he gets on, sh when he looks at the master, he says, I, depart from me. I'm a sinner. I, I, I can't believe I acted and reacted that way, okay? Everyone was amazed, including Simon and his partners, James and John. When they saw the amount of fish, and Jesus says, oh, you're amazed by this? You wait. You're going to be catching men. When they got to the shore, it says they left everything, okay? I think that's Peter, James, John. They left everything. Think about that for a moment. They left their positions. They left their businesses. They owned those boats. So they weren't poor fishermen. A lot of times people think that. They were businessmen. They left their boats. They didn't sell them because, you know, later on that Peter goes back fishing. We'll see that down the road. In the meantime, it really begs some questions in our lives. Have we left everything on behalf of the Lord? I'll see you again next time.